<sighs> Hello everyone, I'm Michael Manticore and welcome back to Let's Meet Adam. This is gonna be fun because there's some shit that has happened. Uh, let's see what all has happened. I know who's died, but I'm also not gonna ruin that. So go back and watch my other ones. I don't know why you started with episode 7 anyway, you weirdo. But, anyway, we're about to go into the fourth room, I want to say. We're about to pick partners for the fourth room. So, ju what just happened was, uh, spoilers ahead, so uh, watch out, is uh, Steve was partnered with Earl, and Earl died. Earl got got by one of the death traps, and they're all deciding that he's not to be trusted or anything I think is what's going on so we don't know for sure we can't make any decisions until we let him explain his side of things oh god no no why now a gift from me to you the voice from the PA vanishes as quickly as it had appeared leaving the men wary and confused suddenly they noticed this foyer was equipped with eight assorted TV screens as all of them simultaneously sprang to life what the hell is this? The men split up and moved to a different screen each. Each screen seemed to be a feed of their various phones and other personal digital media. I heard Lucky gasp and Vince, who was at the screen closest to me, was shaking his head. He seemed pretty disturbed. <laughs> I was afraid of what Goatman was forcing us to view. With a sense of dread, one by one, we all went through and looked at each and every screen. Okay. <laughs> just don't disagree with me and we'll get along just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Duke of Earl. <laughs> He's an architect. Neat. Kang. Sophisticated drink at a local hotspot. Okay. Sith Strix. So, Pierce is a total asshole as we gather. Please don't call me daddy or send me naked pics. Just say hi. <laughs> oh. Is it going to make me scroll through these? No? No? You guys, there's a reason why he's showing us this. But why would he be showing us all our dating profiles off Swold? How how embarrassing. Swold is a gay dating app that basically everyone is on nowadays. It's a fast and easy way to find a hookup, and that's originally what it was meant for. Although, Adam, he showed us your nowgram. Yeah, I don't get it. He could have shown my Swold profile. Why is mine different than all the rest? Vince didn't say anything, but I could tell he was worried for me. I felt it too. I'm unsure why, but I'm in danger. I'm being targeted here, and I don't know what any of this has to do with me. Dude, yours wasn't the only one whose was different, you know? Didn't you see Steve's phone? Holy shit, yeah, that last one. The guy is a porn star. More like porn director who puts himself into scenes he films. Guys, I knew I'd seen him somewhere before. His stuff is all over the internet. Uh, you know, those free por porn search engine sites? He flies to different, well, Asian countries like Thailand, Cambodia, and stuff, then pays locals to be filmed having sex with him. So that's his M.O., huh? 
Yeah, usually third world poor Asian countries. He probably takes advantage of how far the American dollar goes there. He told me he, he told me he was a documentarian. <laughs> well, the guy wasn't really lying, I guess. But it's more dishonesty. I knew I had a bad feeling about Steve. Well, this shit here is probably why. He's probably he's obviously one of those weird fucking white guys who's into Asian, but like in a fetishy way. I bet he tried to rape Erlen during the struggle and ended up bashing his face in. Hey, we can't prove that. I hate to say it, but even if Steve's innocent, there will be five of us. As soon as Vince said that, it dawned on all of us. Oh my god, someone has to get left behind. Oh shit! No matter what. Well fuck, it's a no-brainer, right? We dropped Steve. I never thought I'd say it, but I agree. Guys, we can't do this. Can you imagine how you'd fucking feel if it was happening to you? Adam. Vince places a comforting hand on my shoulder. It's numbers. We can't argue the numbers. We have no choice. Even if Steve didn't kill Earl, he's the most untrustworthy. It, it's the logical decision. Vince hangs his head. Well, I'm sure as hell I'm not gonna let you guys leave me behind, I'll tell you that much. Uh, you guys would never do this to me, would you? I'm sorry, but I say we leave Steve. For our own safety. <laughs> do I abandon Steve? Or do I find it? You know what? Fuck it. I'm abandoning Steve. Alright, let's get out of here then before he shows up. Suddenly, Steve bursts into the room, hands up, and already on the defensive. Instinctively, we all step back away from him, wanting to maintain our distance. Look, alright, I know. It looks bad. I know what you're all thinking. But I didn't kill him. You've got to believe me. Bullshit. How do you know it's bullshit? Pierce points to the screen with the feet of Steve's website on it. Steve's eyes squint, but when he recognizes the site's color scheme and understands what's being shown to him, his eyes widen right up. Oh, fuck me. I can explain. Got caught, didn't you? What? Wait, wait one goddamn minute. Are you all trying to say this has something to do with what happened to Earl in there? Just because I run a pornographic website doesn't mean I murdered anybody. I had the most uncomfortable feeling when you and I were alone. You're a predator. You're not a good person, Steve. I, I knew I felt like you were eye-fucking me in the white room. You? Oh, please. I wouldn't cast you in one of my flicks if you paid me. Even I have standards. Steve, what did you do to Earl? I keep telling you, I didn't do anything. Let me explain. We walked in, we started searching around for a bit, and then lights in our room go off. We hear this sound like a hissing, and I think the room filled with some kind of gas because I start coughing. I, I must have passed out. Next thing I knew, I was on the floor getting myself up. My head was all woozy, and I felt like I had a headache. I was calling for Earl, but he wasn't responding, and suddenly the lights come back on, and I see... I saw Earl on the floor all carved up, covered in his own blood. You were there, you saw it. I was fucking terrified, okay? I've never been so scared in my life. But why would Goatman let you live? Why you and not Earl? I, I don't know. I don't know anything. Please, I wouldn't hurt anybody. Too little too late, old man. I don't understand why you refuse to hear me out. I'm innocent. You've been lying from the start, withholding shit, and now this? I felt a sudden tug in my t-shirt. I looked to my right, and it was Vince. Adam, we have to go. Now. I look at him, my brows drop, and I shake my head slightly. Vince, you know I really hate that we have to do this. We need, We need to go now. Wait, what are you all doing? The four of us started backing away from Steven towards the next group of doors. Y you're planning on leaving me here, aren't you? All of you, leaving me here to die, aren't you? You miserable, no good pieces of shit. One of you shitheads is going to take me with you and I'm going to make sure one of you takes my place here because I'm innocent. I don't deserve to be left behind. I'm not going to die here, not now, like a dog. Steve actually let out a literal snarl. Grrrr! Steve's eyes suddenly flashed like a nocturnal animal in the dark. He lunges at them with lightning speed, almost completely catching them off guard. His desperation was palpable. I don't think so. Pierce jumps forth and decks Steve right square in the jaw, sending him flying backwards. The older man crumbles to the ground, gripping his face. Now's our chance. Oh, Uh, I'm gonna go with Pierce because I already had Lucky once. Come on! I grab Pierce and we book it for the nearest door. Everything is a blur, but I turn my head and see that Vince and Lucky are running together towards the door of their own. Thank goodness. Pierce swings open our door, and as we both run in, just before it shuts, I take a final look at Steve. As if in slow motion, he has started to get up, but his face was mangled with rage. I hope I made the right decision. He runs to our door, but thankfully it shuts before he can stop it. Fuck, that was close. You fucking traitors, you'll regret this. 
We could hear him screaming at us from behind our door. You've made a huge mistake <laughs> picking me to leave behind. I'll get out of here. I'll find a way somehow. And believe you me, when I do, you don't want to come face to face with me. No, you boys certainly don't. I'll... No, no, get away from me. I said back off. Oh my God, Steve. Without thinking, I rushed back to the door. Adam, don't. I pulled frantically at the door we just came through, but it was locked. Damn it. Steve. Ugh. He was making this fucking weird gurgling sound. You, you, please, don't kill me, please. Ugh. Ugh. With my face pressed against the cold, hard door, I felt paralyzed as I heard what sounded like a dragging noise. Instead of yelling, I remained completely still, careful not to breathe too loudly. Eventually, Pierce comes back and tugs at me by my shoulders. The silence is so heavy that it actually had sound. Like what I'd imagine being in space or at the bottom of the ocean would sound like. In complete shock, we wordlessly walked towards the door of the next puzzle room. So, ooh. We made it. Somehow, somehow we made it. The room before them looked to be a dimly lit dining hall, complete with plates, cover, uh, chair covers, and candelabra. Although as beautiful as this new puzzle room was, it had that same air of menace. Elements in it hinted at danger and ferocity, like the blood-red wine-colored curtains and the taxidermy monster near the dining table's head end. Once again, a normal dining room would have windows, but naturally it did not, and the room remained once again as an elegant artifice. Reminding Adam and Pierce of the true purpose of their presence here. Whew, man, I'm so glad to be out of there. Pierce tilts his hat up to wipe his brow. That was intense. Yeah, it was. Pierce. Hmm? We left him. We just left him, and now... Now I think he could have been... Adam, what's done is done, man. Let's just move on. Don't you want to talk about this? No, not really. Actually, I'm more thinking about how hungry I am. A man just got butchered back there and you're seriously thinking about food? Well, I was more saying that this dining room and the empty plates were making me think about it. You know I eat like six or seven times a day? Man, I could totally go for a steak. Or maybe some healthy chili. Besides, I don't think we need to talk about Steve. Yeah, it sucks what happened, but I stand behind what we did. Don't you? We didn't have much of a choice. Exactly, so why worry about it? On to the next. You realize, though, that Steve wasn't the killer, right? That he's not Goatman? Huh? What do you mean? Well, how could he be the killer when we just heard him get stabbed a shit ton of times? Oh, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. So who is it, then? I I'm not sure, Pierce. I could have sworn it was Steve. Anyways, I thought we were done talking about him. We should be talking about us. I don't feel like talking much anymore, to be honest. Especially not about that right now. Well, alright, whatever. Let's solve this puzzle, though. It's a start. You gonna be any help? Probably not. <laughs> but if you need a thing busted open or something heavy lifted, I'm your man. Why the heck is Pierce just sitting down on one of the chairs? Dude, what are you doing? Quiet, Adam. I'm thinking. Don't hurt yourself. And? You can't rush these things, you know. Somebody around here has got to keep a cool head. I kind of half roll my eyes. This would be slightly amusing if, it was, if I wasn't frustrated at having to basically solve this alone. Are you going to get up and help me or what? I got it. I got a plan. I'll sit here and stand guard in case Goatman comes in. You look around for clues. Right. Great plan, Pierce. Thanks a lot. Pierce winks at me. I don't think he quite gets it. Anything for you, Adam. You know, bud, you can't sit and stand guard. How can you sit and stand at the same time? That's so not funny, Adam. Seriously. We've got a puzzle to solve. <laughs> what a dipshit. Okay. Table. I tried moving the tablecloth a bit and looked underneath. It was a pretty pointless search until I checked the underside of the table where I find a golden plaque. Oh, uh, my paper. Let's see. Frog over snow. Laziness. Okay. Let's see. Left wall curtains. I peel those red curtains back, and near the floor, I see a gold plaque fixed to the wall. It's the seven de deadly sins. A pig. Gluttony. Turkey? Or peacock? Peacock. I'm gonna put peacock. And then the line underneath. That might be important, too. Oh, shit. Oops. I didn't know that did that. Oops. Okay, won't do that no more. Right wall curtains. 
Underneath the curtains, I discover the exit, but also a gold plaque above the keypad. Dinner is served. I'll write that underneath. <clears throat> uh, I'll write letters peacock, snake, frog, peacock, uh, shit. Lion, snake, frog, snail. I'll put uh, AI for snail, I guess. Because there's an S for snake. Okay. Oh, my cat is hunting receipts again. Weirdo. Candelabra. Yeah, right, of course there's nothing here. Plates. I lift a plate and find a few suspicious pieces of paper underneath. Wrath, lust, hubris, greed. Uh. Obviously, seven deadly sins. Like, I was raised Catholic. This shit, I was like, I know this. I was hoping for something dangling from the branches like a key. I guess I better check elsewhere. Front wall. I approach the wall carefully. Obviously that monster is stuffed, but it looks so authentic I thought it might pounce on me for real. Whoever made it did a great job stitching all the different animal parts together. On the base of it is a golden nameplate. <laughs> a snake... Goat... Lion, uh, jealousy, uh, blank, blank. Okay. Um, hey, Pierce, he Pierce had gotten out of his seat earlier and had tried searching a bit. He was now striding over to me with something shining in his hands. Check this out. Do you think it's real gold? Maybe we should keep it. I'm more interested in the clue that's engraved on it, to be honest. I guess you could keep it as a souvenir. Maybe. Nah, <laughs> dude, I'd probably just sell it. How are you going to carry it out of here? You have no pockets. Unless you want to hold it the entire time. I raise my eyebrow at him. I hope he's not thinking I'm flirting with him because I'm so not in the mood right now. Oh yeah, that sucks. Uh, let's see. Oh, shit, this is going to take up a lot of paper. Lion. Blank A. Blank, 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 S, S, ass. A uh, frog. I guess it'd be a toad. Whatever. It's a fucking. Um, blank, blank, blank. R, I, C, blank. Uh, peacock. Blank, blank, I, blank, blank. Snail, uh, blank, blank, O, blank, H, and then snake, blank, blank, V, blank. So obviously, this, it's part of the seven deadly sins. Uh, frog would be avarice, um, peacock is pride. Snail is sloth. And snake is envy. But I'm having trouble with the lion. Synonyms. Shit. Shit. Maybe I'll find something else later. Uh, try the table again. Okay. So the pig is gluttony. So pride, wrath, greed, envy. What does sound in like sound again? Can't remember. Uh maybe I can piece it together by uh what's here so peacock pride 
a uh, snake is envy uh f is frog avarice uh peacock in lion uh i don't know that so move on uh snake is e uh f was frog so a and then snail sloth p e a p blank e a s that doesn't make any sense to me um Uh so hoping for something dangling from the branches like a key, I guess I better check elsewhere. Front wall. Ugh, what the hell is that thing supposed to be? I think it's supposed to be a chimera. There goes nothing. Um Ah. Can I can I escape? Oh wait, that's that's not what I meant. Return. <laughs> ah no. Um. Shit. What's the goat? I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google it. Pride, greed. Lust and B Gluttony Wrath and Sloth Okay, now I need uh let's see, so I have Gluttony, I have Envy, I have Sloth I have pride and I have greed in the form of avarice. So the two left are lust and wrath. I assume the lion would be wrath. Let's see. Let's see if I can find like wrath uh synonyms. Madness, duh. Madness. So that leaves Lust left. <sighs> Goat would be lust. Um. Um. Okay. I think I know what I have to do. Uh. Gluttony, and then what's the papers say? The papers say wrath, lust, hubris, and greed. So, uh, peacock would be hubris, H, H, and then, uh, pig is gluttony, which, uh, what's the synonym for, or maybe there's not any for gluttony, so just G. And then, uh, frog is avarice, the synonym is greed, so, uh, frog is G. And then, uh, snake is jealousy, so it gets a J. But that doesn't make sense. E, E, I'm gonna change those to E's. Um, Snail is sloth. Lazy. Uh, uh. That makes any sense either. God dang. Um, let's just search it all again. Okay. 
uh, frog, snail, laziness. Okay. Uh, pig, guatani, uh, peacock, fine. Right wall curtains and uh, dinner is served. Okay, get away from me. Get away from me. Uh, candelabra, nothing. Plates. Uh, wrath. Lust. Hubris. Greed. So, uh, frog is uh, greed. Peacock is. Uh, Hubris. Which leaves lust and wrath. So, snake is jealousy. Goat is lust and lion is wrath. And so, snake, jealousy. Goat, lust, I don't have goat as lust, but whatever. Lion, wrath. Okay. So there's that. Talk to Pierce. Uh, synonyms. Oh my f The pink, the shits. Madness, uh, M A A D T E M A A D T E cuz M A A D is in pride and then T E What does that make it though? Oh shit. Dinner is served. Um uh let's see. Peacock is D. Snake is E. Frog is A. Peacock is D again. Lion is M. Frog is A. Dead mat, that doesn't make sense. It spells out dead mat. Okay, how about dead man? Damn it! What am I missing? A few moments later. Wait, how did I mess this up? It's dead meat. I'm a fucking idiot. Dead mat. I missed a letter entirely. I hate this. Let's get the hell out of here already. Agreed. Thank you everybody so much for watching. This was episode 7 of Let's Meet Adam. I'm going to continue playing this. This is really fun. Uh, let me know what you thought of this down in the comments below. If you have a suggestion for a game you'd like to see me play, let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram and Twitter at Micah underscore Manticore. Links to those in the description. I also have a Facebook page now, so that link will be in the description as well. Um, 
thanks again for watching, and I hope I see you in the next one. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and goodbye.